Nagbabalik ang depend hour para sa teleturuan. Ngayong gabi ay tatambok natin ang katlong module ng grade 7 sa asignaturang Mathematics para sa Season 7. Sa module po ito ay makasama natin bilang teacher presenter si Mary Ann Guerrero ng Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School at tatalakay sa aralin tungkol sa Order of Operations. Halina, makinig, manood at matuto sa ating teleturuan. Good evening guys, this is Ma'am Mary Ann L. Guerrero of Honorato C. Perez Senior Memorial Science High School for teleturuan. Tonight, what you will learn is the order of operations in the set of integers. So, what you need most is the operations of integers. Reload your integers now. First, let us review. Evaluate 3 squared. As you all know, 3 squared is 3 times 3. So, 3 squared is equal to 9. Now, let's simplify this expression. 2 plus 3 times 4. Did you add first before you multiply? Or you multiply first before you add? We've got two different answers. We have 20 and 14. It seems that the two answers are both correct. Just like signing the check or check the sign. But when you get dressed, what do you put on first? Your socks or your shoes? In our lives and in mathematics, we need to do things in a certain order to make sure that they turn out right. In our previous example, for us to determine which solutions is correct, let us now discuss our topic for tonight, the order of operations in the set of integers. We, when several operations have to be performed, we must follow the order of operations, the so-called GEMDAS rule, G, grouping symbols, Perform the operations inside the grouping symbols. Grouping symbols are parentheses, brackets, and braces. E, exponent or evaluate powers. MD, multiplications and divisions. Do the multiplications and divisions from left to right or whichever comes first. AS, addition and subtraction. Do the addition and subtraction from left to right or whichever comes first. Now, let us have this example, 2 plus 3 times 4. Aha, looks familiar. This is the same problem that we have solved earlier where we've got two different answers. Now, you've just heard the so-called CHEMDAS, the order of operations. Let us apply this in simplifying 2 plus 3 times 4 for us to finally know which of the two solutions is correct. Now, going back to the expression 2 plus 3 times 4, as you can see, we have two operations, addition and multiplication. Now, by the GEMDAS rule, we first multiply before we add. Now, let us first multiply 3 and 4. So, 3 times 4 is 12. Then, 2 plus 12 is equal to 14. So, 14 is the correct answer. Therefore, the second solution is correct. Okay, it's practice time. Let us simplify the following expression. Number one, 10 times the sum of 4 and 5. We have multiplications and additions and parentheses. First, we add 4 and 5. Why? It is inside the parentheses. So, 4 plus 5 equals 9. So, we have 10 times 9 equals 90. So, what is the final answer? 90. Example number 2, 6 added to the product of 3 squared and 4. Analyzing, we can see parentheses, exponent, multiplication, and addition. First, let us simplify 3 squared times 4. Why? It was grouped using parentheses. Evaluate 3 squared. That is 3 times 3. 3 squared is equal to 9. Now we have 9 times 4. 9 times 4 equals 36. Now we have 36 plus 6, so 36 plus 6 is equal to 42. That's the final answer. And there will be more when we return here in Teleturoan.